Luca Lewis on the Fox. Uh, we're talking about the notorious poo jogger. He's uh, uh, everybody knows at this point, thanks to the amount of news coverage this guy's gotten. When I do a poo, it doesn't get that much press. No, which is probably a good thing. I'm not looking for poo press. Well, that's but there's true. no such thing as bad press, uh, except think, for poo press. I think for this guy, because what's happened uh, with the poo jogger? Short recap on him is uh, this dude. Uh, went for a jog at like 4 a.m. in the morning and it was like multiple times a week he would poo in the same place outside an apartment complex to the point where the residents actually launched a stakeout to catch him. So they finally caught him and they took a photo of him and then it hit the news. He was caught in the act. Yeah, it hit the news, but every photo was blurred. His face was blurred because obviously police hadn't officially charged him. But now, Luke, because he has been officially charged and he's been officially identified, it's just some old dude who works for like an investment firm, like a, <laughs> like a really big business called Avio that works with banks and money. Yeah. Like he's a big shot executive. So he's been fired because he's now known as the poo jogger. Well, he would have had to resign. Yeah, Surely. exactly. Yeah. No, he has, uh, they've, they've let him go. Uh, they said they're very disappointed in the allegations. Uh, and uh, until yesterday, Avio Group was not aware of the charges laid against him. Well, they just don't want to hire more cleaners at work. Yeah. And they say they're distressed and disappointed. I imagine that's more of a preemptive firing because obviously he can't poo in that same spot now. So they're just worried about him doing it in the office. Exactly. <laughs> they've got rid of him. But uh, he's definitely got a bad reputation now. I would say it's yeah. a poo jogger for the rest of his life. He'll be known as that. It's tarnished his reputation for life. He's going to go back. Even the next job he applies for, he's going to get in there. Well, yeah. They're going to read the resume. Every person. Like, like even if that was your Everyone's, neighbor three yeah. doors down, you'd be like, oh, man, I'm three doors down from the poo jogger. Like, <laughs> that's what he's going to be known as forever. He's going to walk into the job interview. The boss is going to be look at uh, the resume, then put it down, make eye contact with him and go, oh, I've seen your bum. And then yeah. you're not getting a job here. And even if even if they only look like slightly familiar on the resume, if he lists his hobbies, it'll say jogging, and you go, "Ah, oh, that's where I know him from." Poo jogging. Poo jogging. And uh, it's such a weird thing how one act can tarnish your reputation like that. Mm. There's other ones that uh, I'm sure they're just waiting for a mate guy. There was yes. a viral video that went down of a guy uh, who'd crashed his car up on a curb. Yeah. Uh, the police went and then questioned him. And uh, he was clearly a bit intoxicated at the time, shouldn't have been driving. And his excuse to the police officers were, I'm just waiting for a mate. Yeah. And for the rest of his life, he's that guy now. Yeah, everyone's going to tell him to say it. Oi, say it, say yeah. it. I mean, fortunately for the poo jogger, I don't think anyone's going to be like, oi, do it, do it. <laughs> I don't know, you never know. <laughs> but uh, barking dog guy yes. of the current affair. Yeah, the guy who made the incredibly realistic dog sounds and terrified his wife every for a TV party, interview. Every party he must go to, he must get that. Do you reckon that guy's going to many parties? I think he's like 60. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But it got us thinking, guys, do you have a reputation that you just can't shake? Whether it's positive or negative, what do people know you for? Give us a call on 131060. We want to hear it. Yeah, and also bonus points if you have a nickname still from the thing that's given you the reputation. Yes. For example, like he'd be called the poo jogger now. Yeah, the guy forever. would be just like, oh, Pooey. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever they call him. Yeah. I don't, I don't think he has many mates. <laughs> no. Pro- well, probably not anymore, seeing as the, he's the poo jogger. Yeah. But uh, if you, turn in 1060, do you have a bad reputation that you just can't shake? We'd love to hear from you. Give us a call. It's a safe space. And perhaps, Lewis, this is an opportunity for people who have that bad reputation to be like, hey, that's not me anymore. I'm yeah. a changed person. And this is your time to clear the air. Yes. Uh, Lucy's on the line. Lucy, what's a reputation that you can't shake? Um, I have the nickname Loose Nut. And <laughs> Loose got, Nut? Right. Yes, and I didn't actually realise why I had the nickname for a few years either. But, um, you never I'm, asked a single person? People called you Loose Nut for a couple of years and you never thought, well, I wonder why I'm called Loose Nut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit nutty. So. <laughs> That's pretty oh, loose. Right. So you thought it was more of a looseness. So yeah, well, it happened when um, with my old car, I had um, hubcaps that were bolted in. They were just old hubcaps. Mm. And they were pretty damaged, so I changed them over to different ones. But so I unbolted them all, um, and the new bolt, the new hubcaps had fake bolts. So yep. um, put all the bolts in the box, plugged the new ones on, and it wasn't until the next day that I sort of went to reverse my car out of the driveway that I put it in reverse, and the car pretty much dropped about half a foot. Oh no! And all the wheels fell off. The wheels fell off. All of loose nut. Them. That'll get you. <laughs> All of them. Yeah, you know what? Hey, thanks for calling loose nut. That's no, what no. you will forever be known as. I'm sorry, we can't help you shake that one. We're letting you keep that. That's loose no, nut's no. actually a pretty creative nickname as well yeah, with, with the really name nice. Lucy. 
Yeah, I think so. Well, thanks for calling. Uh, we actually have a, a member of the team who has a nickname that they can't shape. Our button pusher, uh, Michael, is known as Radio Mike, which is a nickname that he gave himself. <laughs> You uh, change your Instagram name to radio.mike. Block him, by the way. Yeah. Um, if you don't go follow <laughs> Do it. Do not follow. Block radio Mike on Instagram.com. Um, he doesn't need the extra attention. But you changed your kind of name. When you started working the show, I guess you started to see radio as your identity. Mm. And the I just thought it was a kind of an in-joke between us and the team going, oh, yeah, Radio Mike, it's what we call him on the show. But... Not until I went to your party uh, last year with one, it was your birthday party. We went there uh, with a couple of your high school friends who don't know you as Radio Mike. They, mm. It's just Mike or Michael to them. Your mate, Alex, who you've known for years, one of your closest childhood friends, was like, hey, Radio Mike, <laughs> you can't shake that now forever. Your, your primary yeah. school friends are calling you that. I know. I'm thinking about changing it again to something else, but Ooh, I can't figure out you why. You shouldn't. Last no. time you gave yourself a nickname, it didn't go well, and <laughs> now you're stuck with it. Yeah, it's so bad that I heard you uh, helping out on a podcast, and they still referred to you as Radio Mike, not Podcast Mike, like on a completely different medium. And then on some podcasts, people refer to you as Podcast Mike. I know that. That's why I want to change it again because the branding's getting confusing. Oh, mate, no mate, well, no well, to change it, all you need to do is get another job. Like you can be mechanic, Mike, or Doctor Mike. <laughs> yeah, maybe that. Maybe that's what you should do. <laughs> it's Mike just whatever good. you're currently doing at the time, followed by Mike. Yes. Yeah. That's basically yes, what Mike. It, what it's <laughs> 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 one of oh, more well, one that I thought of during the song was there was a guy, one of my friends at high school. Mm. Uh, he had a nickname that lasted him five years through high school from one incident. Right. And we were in the locker room. Um, something came out. He was called Tripod for <laughs> five years. It was did he, never... have, did he have a tripod with him? Was it like a camera nerd? Or... No, he did not. Why did he bring a camera in at the locker room? Mm. Oh, yes. Was it a tripod? It was very impressive stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, to so everyone listening and Luke and Mike in the studio, uh, I think I need to come clean um, and officially announce that I can predict the future. With what 100% evidence? certainty. Okay, what evidence? Big claim to make love on air. Mm -hmm. What evidence do you have to support this? Well, uh, as you know, Luke, we play a game uh, on our show called The Name Game, where we get callers to call yep. up and uh, tell us. We, we ask them three questions, and then we guess their name. Yep. Now It's a pretty much a long shot. Mm -hmm. We try and narrow it down, usually unsuccessful, yes. until last week. Yeah, last week I had a win. So that's my first point Which of evidence. Which is phenomenal. Three weeks into the... We thought it would take us about a year. Yeah. When we came up with the game, we were like, oh, this will this will be radio content for at least a year. It took us three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> because I can tell the future. So my first point of evidence is I guess the name. My second point of evidence is the week before I guess the name on our show, I said this. <laughs> Guys, uh, I'm going to make a big call. Next week, I'm 100% going to guess the caller's name. That's enormous. <laughs> And then, what happened, Mike? This. Is your name the third most common male's name? Daniel. Oh, are you kidding me? You got it. Oh, oh, no way. Are you joking? I'm not joking. Your name's Daniel. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, oh I can't believe oh, it. I guaranteed I was going to guess the name, and I did. I so still can't believe it. I, I know, me neither. Now, now it makes everyone go, uh, did they just fake it? We didn't. I can no. tell the future. That's what's real. Okay? So, and you know what? I've got a winning streak. You know streak. what? I thought about that. I was mm -hmm. like, when you made that big clam and air, I was like, you mate, you're just setting us up to fail now. You've made this big guarantee, live and air. I'm going to get it next week. And I was like, oh, yeah, that'll be funny when you fail. It made me so angry that you got it. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Uh, I'm, I think I'm on a hot streak. And seeing as I can predict the future, what I've done, Luke is over. Uh, entered the lottery. There's a 15 minute. <laughs> there's a 15 million dollar lottery uh, draw this Tuesday, yep. and uh, I'm going to win that. I've entered. Have you? I guarantee that I'm going to win 15 million dollars. <sighs> okay, I'm going to. I guarantee I'm going to win some money. Okay, on the lotto. <laughs> Still a big call. Unlikely. I've never won money on the lottery. I think you're more likely to get hit by lightning, but I guarantee that I won't get hit by lightning. Instead, I will win some money on the lottery. Right. Well, to prove, I've got a, I've thought of a test to prove mm -hmm. this winning streak. So you think you're on a winning streak? Absolutely. How confident are you that no matter what test I throw at you now to prove that winning streak, you'll win? 
No, no, the test that I'm doing is the lottery. So yeah. if you give me a test and I fail it, that'll ruin my, my winning streak and that will be the reason why I don't win the lottery. Well, back up your words. You made the big claim that I'm on a winning streak. Do you want to do a test live on air now? I guarantee I'm on a winning streak. I guarantee that right, I'm going to we'll win whatever, whatever you come up with. Test. Come up with. Yep, I so guarantee I'm going to We're going to call a local business, mm-hmm. right? Um, right now. Yep. And you need to predict how many rings they pick up the phone in. That's it. Can I if know you what can, type of business it is? Absolutely not. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm going to get it. I'm on a winning streak. I guarantee that they're going to pick up in three rings. Three. Guaranteed. What about if it's a fish and chip shop? They're usually pretty quick on the, on the phone. If it's a fish and chip shop, I guarantee two rings. But if it's anything else, three. Guaranteed. Mike, right. call. Fine. Mike, put in the number. Lewis not even nervous that he's... Still on a winning streak, guaranteed three rings for this Mike, phone Mike, what are you call. doing? Do you even know how... Sorry, guys, it's happening. One, two... Wait. One. That's two. Two. How can I help you? Hi there. How are you going? I'm oh, good, thank Is this you a fish here. and chip store? You failed. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Sorry, wrong number. <laughs> well, now I'm not going to win the lottery. This is your fault. Yep. Waste of money. Waste of eleven dollars eighty five. Hey, we're playing the name game later in the show, so you might be able to continue that winning streak. Perhaps. I guarantee I'm going to win the name it. game. It's looking Lewis on the phone. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going on a cruise for ten days, Luke, and uh, tomorrow you leave, don't you? Yeah, I leave tomorrow. So twenty four hours time, you're going to be on the boat. Yeah, that's on the exciting. Boat. Is, um, I think it's. You know what? I was excited for it because my girlfriend set it up. She's like, "You need a holiday," and I was like, "No, I want to do. I want to do radio." She's like, "You need a break," so she booked a cruise for me. I mean, only do it one day a week. We get a six day holiday, but yeah, true man, you need one. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I work too hard. Put your feet up. <laughs> um, but yeah, so she convinced me that it was going to be awesome. So I'm like, "All right," I was looking forward to it. But then speaking to you, mm. you don't think I'm going to enjoy it because I don't drink and I don't gamble. And that seems to be the only thing that you can do on there. Two of the main activities on a cruise is throwing your life away in the middle of the Pacific, mm. which is, look, it's, it's a fun thing to do from time to time. I'm not encouraging it. I'm just saying it's a way people let off steam. Uh, some older couples enjoy having a nice wine on the deck, and but you don't drink alcohol and no. you don't participate in gambling. So you're like, what else is there to do? And I was like, oh, there's a couple of trivia nights. You went to trivia. I hate trivia. Yeah. I just, I'm just starting to think that perhaps a cruise wasn't the best vacation for your mm. girlfriend to pick. Um, but it, you've never, you guys have been to Thailand before, haven't well, you? We went to Thailand, but we, we were on a plane. We took a plane there. We didn't yeah. get on a boat. So, yeah. I mean, I hated the plane. Maybe there's a correlation here. I just don't enjoy traveling. Traveling, is, is, is a mode of transport a holiday, Luke? Mm, no, I wouldn't consider like a, you know, a quad bike a holiday. <laughs> yeah. But we were thinking, you know, because you've been on a cruise before. I've, I've been on a 10 day cruise before. So I thought I will give you some, I'll at least try to give you some insider cruise tips. Yeah. And uh, by the way, 131060, if you're a veteran cruiser, if you've been on a cruise before and you think you've got a tip for a Lewis, please help me out. And, um, cause I'm really just trying to make Lewis excited again. How do you enjoy cruise. a cruise sober? Yeah. Just get, give me some. Cruise tips, uh, stuff that isn't to do with, I guess, alcohol and gambling, because that won't help Lewis out. My one tip would be, and we did this quite a lot on Mm. the uh, cruise. We only realized about day five into it. Yeah. uh, You can actually bring food from the buffet back to your room. Oh. I don't think we were sneaking it. Maybe it wasn't allowed, but we weren't really sneaking it. We were just walking through the corridors with a plate of bacon. Well, I was sometimes having... Well, who's going to stop you? No one. Put down that bacon. Yeah. There's no bacon. As long as you bring the plate back, just, you know, when you're done. But Uh, but but still, they they bring it back. I've got 10 days there, though. Like, is that going to keep me satisfied for 10 days, stealing bacon? How much do you like buffets? I mean, I kept me entertained for about six. (laughs) I mean, there's a gym there. I could go to the gym. And my other advice will be, we're getting lots of calls here, so we will take those after the break. My last tip before we go to the song would probably be, uh, don't talk to strangers. But isn't the whole boat strangers? Yeah, don't talk to anyone. Because they're all, if you don't want to talk to people who go on cruises, I mean... Sure, I'm not going on a cruise. Yeah, I know. And I wouldn't want to speak to you if I was on that boat either. Just keep to yourself, maybe. Okay. I so your cause... tips for enjoying a cruise is steal bacon and ignore everyone yeah, for 10 days. You'll have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more just like, 
the kind of people who like they really encourage social bonding. They're like, come nah. on, get a trivia group together of like four <laughs> no. strangers. Yeah, nah. No, I'm not playing trivia. Like, me with, and Kathy like, from bet. Adelaide are not gonna bond over <laughs> over nineties trivia tonight, okay? Uh, cause you're going in a cruise or oh, tomorrow, Lewis. Yes, I am. And you were a bit worried about not enjoying yourself on the cruise. Mm. And so I've got people to call up, give you give us their best cruise tips. I've got a couple is, more I don't for drink. Her. And I no. don't gamble. And it seems to be the only thing the these two. crews advertise when I look at it. Yeah. Because I just didn't mind. I just let my girlfriend book it. I didn't look at it. I'm like, yeah, I like boats from the outside. Yeah. I'm sure they'll be really fun Have on the inside. Have you ever been on a big boat? Not for 10 days, no. Nah. Well, uh, we've got uh, Shanae. Shanae, what's your cruise tip? So basically, after midnight, they charge you a room service fee. So every night on a cruise I went on, we would order room service at like 11.59. Mm. And it's free, so you just order as much as you want. Great tip. Really that good. is a good tip. Oh. But, really Shanae, good. that will only keep me entertained at exactly 11.59. Do you have any tips for the other 24 no, hours? No, 11.55 is the time. Oh, 11.55. Yeah. My mistake. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I could squeeze um, well, in 11.56. There's a, there's a channel on the TV where you can watch the front of the ship. That is true. That's pretty, pretty cool. Boring. They have like a live stream of the front of the boat. Gr- only good to watch in a storm. All right, that's um, good. So I'll watch that for, for 23 hours and 59 minutes. And then order and then room service. 11.55, room service. Yeah. Awesome. Exactly. And uh, Riley, you're a three cruise veteran. What are your cruise tips? Uh, go to the buffet and eat as much food as you can. Take advantage of the free pizza because it's 24-7. Right. And eat all the ice cream you can because they have an unlimited... Uh, soft serve machine. Oh, great. I'll come back with diabetes. Thanks for calling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good tip, though. Yeah, free that pizza. is. Free pizza. I like free pizza. Down. And uh, Vesna, uh, oh, Vesna, welcome to uh, the show. Uh, you're a five Hello. cruise veteran? Yes. Five, five cruises. What keeps you coming back? Um, stealing pens. Stealing pens? Yes. What, for just you, the whole cruise? You know you can do that on land. <laughs> yes, I do it all the time um, here. <laughs> no, it's more fun on the cruise. How come? Because the waiters and everyone need them. Because all you have to do is sign. So they're maybe like looking for pens and you just hide and run. And do you just call this game pinch pens or something? Yes. Right. So and a, yeah, a family of four and we all see how many pens we can pinch. And That's what's a your, good game. What's your record? 36. <laughs> That's a lot of pens. A, a, how yeah. long was the cruise? Uh, 10 days. 10 okay. days, 36 pens. Do you reckon... You're looking at 3.6 pens a day. Do you reckon yeah. me and my girlfriend could <laughs> smash your record across the 10 well, days? All Give right. it a go. I think you can beat 36 yeah. pens. All right. You know what? I'm on a winning streak. I guarantee <laughs> that I'm going to steal at least 37 pens. That's a good All right. one. All right. Brilliant. I'll come back with 37 pens and I'll distribute right. them throughout the show. I've got one more, t- I've got one more tip for you, Lewis. Yeah. Um, one thing that we were doing when we only realized this halfway through, there's a lot of activities that they offer you on the cruise. Only choose the activities that you think will not attract many people. They're way more fun because there's no cues. It's usually you, three other people having a go. I'd recommend darts, coits, and a putting competition. So Great you fun. think darts, coits, and a putting competition yep. is what I should do for 10 days. How is that any worse than trying to steal more than 36 pence? <laughs> you have no idea about entertainment. <laughs> I'm stealing 37 pence. <laughs> Oh, and uh, we have a very important message from Amy Shark herself. Yes. Um, you just heard the song. And uh, look, this is an exclusive. This is really big news. I it's don't think we've ever dropped news this big that before. she actually told us a while ago that we've been keeping from everyone. Well, she's I been think telling she's us... told a couple of people, but we're, we've got the exclusive on our show. Yeah, she's been telling us periodically in three-minute segments at multiple times during the three-minute segments <laughs> yeah. on our own show. But we need to officially tell you this is coming straight from Luke and Lewis on behalf of Amy Shark. Guys, Amy Shark told us to tell you that she said hi. That's the announcement. Amy Shark she says did. hi, guys. And uh, she's been saying hi for a really long time. Uh, it's a obviously, campaign that we feel quite strongly about. Well, yeah, because obviously this is so important to her. She wrote an entire song. And the chorus is, tell them all I said hi. And I feel like a lot of people have been listening to the song, but no one's been taking action she upon is it. Told, no one's actually been telling I them I mean, all. I think the song is charting quite high on the charts right now. But no so, one's, everyone's listening. I no know. one's telling them all. In. I mean, Amy's telling them all, but I feel like you're right. <laughs> no one's telling them all in. No. But it needs to go further than just Amy telling everyone. So 
We told people this week out on the streets. We've if been you're listening them right all now, the, the, all first, day. yeah. If you've been listening right now, firstly, Amy says hi. But mm-hmm. secondly, you need to turn to the person next to you in the car, or if there's no one next to you in your car, wind down the window, honk your horn, tell everyone around you, Amy Shark says hi. Pull over the car, text your mum, let them know, Amy Shark says hi. And this is something, and that then we've... tell your mum, you text your dad, grandma, mm-hmm. keep the world's it going. Know. Tell them all. And uh, we've taken this very seriously. We've, we've listened to this song as more of a, an actual instructional guide rather than music to listen to. Well, it's I think we've taken upon. it the way that she intended it. Yeah. So what we've been doing is we've just been telling everyone we can that Amy Shark's been saying hi. And uh, this is what we came up with. Is we've been doing this all week. <laughs> we decided to hit the streets to tell them all that Amy Shark said hi. Just want to let everyone know that Amy Shark says hi. Yelling was working well, but we needed more volume and a car. So we started doing drive-by megaphone highs. Amy Shark says hi, and she hopes you've been well. People were starting to get the message, but what this campaign really needed was for us to scream it from the rooftops. Also with a megaphone. With a massive sign that said, Amy Shark says hi, so everyone looked at us while we were doing it. Amy Shark says hi. Tell her I say hi. I've got a robot. No, you don't. Also, while we're talking about it, Amy Shark says hi. That's right, guys. Amy Shark says hi. This is a movement that everyone needs to get behind. And, Hashtag uh, it. Hashtag Amy Shark says hi. Someone try and do Amy Shark says hi.com. Whatever you can do to get the movement out there. If you can afford do it. a billboard, do it. If you can't afford a billboard, but you have a can of spray paint, reappropriate it. That's what we did during the week. Yes. Um, we and actually made a huge sign. If you want to watch the video of us telling the world and telling them all that Amy Shark says hi, go check out the Luke and Lewis Facebook page and our Instagram and our YouTube. It's up on there. And yeah, the thing went for about, the actual thing goes for about two minutes. We went door knocking. We actually made a sign. We hung it off the roof. We had megaphones. We even went down to a market and I told a few butchers that uh, <laughs> Amy Shark says hi just so they can start spreading it through the local scene. Yeah, you know? so make sure you tag a mate in the video and let them know that Amy Shark says hi. This yes. is what we really want to get out there. And hey, you know what? 131060, if you'd like us to tell you that Amy Shark said hi personally, we'll do that for you. Or has Amy Shark ever said hi to you? Or not even that. 131060, do you have a message for people listening right now regarding the big Amy Shark announcement, do you want to tell others that Amy Shark said hi? Yeah, the message must be Amy Shark says hi, yeah. otherwise we will not take the No call. other messages will be accepted. Tash Sultana says hi is a big no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, Amy Shark says hi. He sounds like Jim. She sounds like Stacey. He might be Dave. She might be Jay. We'll guess your name. We'll guess your name. That's right, guys. We're playing the name game. I'm on a bit of a hot streak today. This is where we uh, try to guess your names by vibing out your personalities. Last week, we had a win. Yep. I won the game. Uh, by, I, and the week before that, I guaranteed that I'm going to win it. You guessed a Daniel. Yes. Uh, it was. Uh, he, did he have an iPhone? And he had short hair, and obviously that's a Daniel. Yeah, he sounded like a pretty basic dude, so I just picked like the third most popular name, and I, yep. I got it. Now, some might say that's a legitimate strategy. I would rather say that it's because I can tell the future. We've changed tactics this week because yes. I want to jump on a good thing. Mm-hmm. Um, we've decided to make it less of a competition between us and yep. more of a group project, I would say, yeah, so where you, we're going to combine forces. Well, yeah. I want to combine forces with you because you, you clearly just, have a talent for you're it. You're jumping on my bandwagon. Yes. You're like, you, uh. you say combining forces, I say you're trying to slow me down. Yeah, I want, oh, want me some of that hot streak. But that's right. I'm going to teach you, all right? I'm yes. going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take you under my wing. I'll be your mentor. So and hopefully you're going to get one this week. We're still going to have two goes. The way it's going to work is we're both going to ask each caller one question each, mm-hmm. and then we'll, I guess, we'll deliberate for a bit over what we think the name is. Then we'll... Decide on one, lock it in, and we've got two chances to guess people's names. Yep. Still a very hard game. Yes. And will we get two in a row? Unlikely, but that's what we play for. I can't guarantee We play it. for the moments like that. The only thing I can guarantee, guys, is that I'm going to win the lottery next week. Yeah. So let's bring up our first caller. Caller one, welcome to the show. Do not say your name. Thank you. <laughs> Jeez, no one knows how to start the phone call when they're not allowed to say their <laughs> yes. name. It's either hi or... <laughs> but appreciate you uh, saying something so we know you're there. Luke, do you want to take the first question? Uh, caller number one. Yes. Would your name be a good name for a pet guinea pig? Ooh. Uh, no. Mm. no. Right. See, so, that could say a lot about her name or could say a lot about uh, I think... how she feels about naming pet guinea pigs. 
<laughs> That's true. I think that m- must mean she has a very human name. Like, like you know how some yeah. names are human and dog names? Like yeah. your brother Jack? Yeah. I had a dog <laughs> called Jack once. Yeah, it's probably not Patches, her mm. name. No, that's no, true. No. Spots. All right. No. Well, we can rule Patches Which is a great out. guinea pig name, by the way, <laughs> if you're thinking of naming one. Also, caller one, please stop ruling out names. We don't want, we don't want to keep listing names. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> we could, we, I was going to guess Spot, but you're you said a fool. No. <laughs> now we know you're not. You're making this too spots. easy for us. All right. Second question. Uh, so do not ask anything because we're working as a team this week. Don't mm-hmm. ask anything guinea pig related. I think I've got that covered. Okay. <laughs> just in case you were going. Let me just write a new question. Uh, <laughs> caller one, do you think that I will be able to guess your name? Uh, I hope so. Hmm. Didn't help. <laughs> I feel like we're just going off my guinea pig knowledge that I attain. And then hopefully we'll get it. See, now I don't think we're going to get it. Often your questions are just personal questions you want to know about the person to do with you. And it doesn't help you guess at all. Uh, excuse me. How many names have you guessed? Luke? Yeah, last week you actually asked two good questions for yeah, once and true. you guessed it. So can you get back strategy. on track? Okay. Okay. Right. Well, um, I guess what she's thinking? not confident that I'm going to guess the name. <laughs> okay. So why don't you just come up with a name and, and you go, hopefully we'll get it. I wouldn't call a guinea pig Felicity. <laughs> no. I wouldn't. No, 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 no. You just said it too early. I just said I wouldn't call a guinea pig. That's not my guess. You're trying to cheat, man. No, I said I didn't. St- you fade her down, okay? Turn we're, off we're, her. We're deliberating. Well, now, now I know her name's not Felicity. I wasn't going to guess that. And it's not Spot. I just said I patchy. wouldn't name I feel a like guinea you've pig cheated. Felicity. I feel like you're cheating. Right. You've come onto my team right. and you just started tarnishing my reputation with te- cheating. It wasn't my fault that she answered. Guess a name. Is your name Brittany? No. Hmm. Well, what's your name? Stacy. 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 Yeah. Pretty close. I, wouldn't, I would not, not call all. a guinea pig, Stacey. And you were pretty spot on. We probably didn't guess you that. I should have asked, has your mum got it going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for that calling, Stacey. That would have helped Stacey. a lot. That's um, okay. Thanks, guys. All good. All right. We've we, got one more chance. We've got one more chance. All right. Um, caller two, welcome to the show. Don't say anything. How are you always? How are we? Yeah, oh, very well. Doing well. All right. My first question. What hobbies do you have? Uh, I go to the gym fairly really frequently. Mm. All right. Luke? Hobbies, you said one. I'm looking for one more hobby. I uh, play basketball. Okay, gym, gym and basketball. basketball, both fitness related. Right. Um, is there a famous singer with your name? Yes. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Could be Justin, Justin Bieber. Don't say your name. Make sure his volume's turned down for now. Could be Michael, Michael Jackson. Yes. I think, I think it's Michael. <sighs> Sounds like a very basketball gym type name. Michael Jordan, Michael mm. Jackson. I'm feel this is going? good. Caller two, is your name Michael? I can't believe it, boys. Oh, no! No, it's not. It's Michael. Oh, what? I'm, oh, I'm, oh, gonna, I'm gonna win the lottery. I'm gonna be a Dude, millionaire. Dude, we need to quit. Win. This is oh, the end of the game now. I want to no, it's not. Is it really? It's Michael. This it's just Michael. looks rigged. Can you confirm that this isn't rigged? Me? Yeah. yeah, can yeah, you like confirm yeah. that you, you didn't tell us off air that your name was? Just so people know. It's... No, 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 <laughs> no, not at all. We've never t- <laughs> met, have we? I no, do. we never met. I've oh, met, met you in a few shows, but never, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for calling, Michael. I think that's the end of the name oh, game. <laughs> okay, can we decide now? We go on permanent hiatus, in- indefinite, okay. not permanent, indefinite, Indef- hiatus. indefinite hiatus. Because if we're we get, getting too good, we're getting too good at the name game. See, I told you if you join my team. Hang on, no bad call. Can we go for a trifecta next week? <laughs> All right, we'll go for a trifecta. We'll see. What I don't think we should go for three in a row. All right, we'll oh. we'll talk about it later. Attention, everyone in Melbourne! Please stop telling everyone that it's not actually the Queen's birthday this weekend. We all know. Stop. It's Sick never it. been on her birthday. It's no. just a public holiday. We're Australians. We like to any excuse for a beer. Yeah, and you know what? It's not a fact. Did you know? Don't, yes, I know. You know, any, any sentence that starts with did you know and it involves the Queen, I know it. Um, <laughs> really? Yep. I know everything about the Queen. <laughs> did you know that um, Queen Elizabeth traditionally didn't wear socks? Yes. Oh, yeah, I've told you that before on the show. Yes, I know everything That's about the Queen. That was a bad example. <laughs>
But I'm sick of this. I'm sick of people saying this fact. I heard it. I've heard it on the radio. I mean, I just said it then on the radio. Not helping my cause, but we'll push through that. I said on the ra- I've heard on the radio, TV. Mm. My friends have been telling me, "Hey, oh, man, do you know that it's actually not the Queen's birthday?" Yes. Yes, it's on I- April 21st. I didn't actually know that. I, I just I reckon, knew it was months away. It's I not reckon, even like it's a couple of days either side. Yeah. With, it was three months ago and now we're going, oh yeah, Liz, we'll celebrate it now. You know how Christmas has everyone telling you Merry Christmas? Yeah. This is the Merry Christmas of the Queen's birthday. Everyone just, going around going, hey, it's not the Queen's birthday. Cool, man. <laughs> yeah, great. Where's my gift? It just, it's not as good as, it's not as positive as spreading Christmas cheer. No, it makes me feel like an idiot for taking a day off. I wouldn't put it on a card. No. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> so guys. Stop telling everyone that it's the, not the Queen's birthday. Great. We know. We all know. Give that, it up. That is all. Lewis, last night I was out with a few friends and I discovered something quite rare. Mm-hmm. I think... Shiny Pokemon? <laughs> rarer. I don't believe you. Rarer than a wild footy card. You wouldn't understand that reference, but trust me, that is rare. Right. Hit me, mate. I found a friend, or I found a human being on this planet who, mm-hmm. is a, who also happens to be a friend of mine. Who doesn't like mints? Hey, that's rarer than a golden magic cup. Shiny Pokemon reference. I already said it's mm. not as rare as that. That's okay. That's <laughs> not as rare. I was already, no, I already said it's rarer. That's it's what rare I said. That. I said that's rarer than a golden. Right. Mate, I think we need to continue with the story. Can we talk less about shiny Pokemon, more about mints? I think, <laughs> <laughs> Although, to be That's honest, when tough, you say it like that... That's a tough choice. Let's talk about anything else. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell me about your mints, man. I don't know, but what are <laughs> <laughs> Well, guys, nah, I have a... Sto- well, okay, well, I do have a shiny Pokemon story if you'd rather hear that. <laughs> <What> you- <laughs> <laughs> All right, well... Uh, one day I really wanted to get a shiny Pokemon and I really wanted a shiny starter. So I spent about, uh, six weeks when I got the new Pokemon, turning my console off and on again, starting a new game so that I would start off with a shiny version of the fire Pokemon. And, yeah. uh, I did it and then I got it. And then that took me so long that I got bored of Pokemon. I didn't even finish the game. So <laughs> kind of ruined it for me. Yeah. Yeah, Do you reckon pro- that's better than your mint story? I probably should have talked about mint. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was still got time to sell it. Okay, cool. Okay. I was out with my mates, found out that one of my friends doesn't like mints. Crazy. Because nice. I have a theory that you can hate mint, the flavor of mint with chocolate. I'm not a big fan of mint chocolate. You can uh, hate mint cookies. There's various, That's true. There's you... various types of mint added to things that aren't great, to be honest. It's not a great additional flavor. But mint on its own, I don't think I've ever heard of anyone Just not liking it. like an eclipse. He won't even have a softer mint, like a cool mint. So he doesn't like any kind of mint? No mints. So if... He were to hear the five gum advertisement. How it feels to chew five gum. His answer would be not very good. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe even vomiting. He, yeah. he hates mints. Right. Won't, won't swallow one. Hates the taste, thinks it's overpowering. He must hate a fisherman's friend. Well, that's weird. I think, you know, I think that's there's the a king lot of, of all mints. <laughs> there's a lot of people out there that hate things that everyone else loves. And if you are yeah. that person, why don't you just give us a call on 131060? What do you hate that everyone else on the planet loves? We yeah. want to know. And also, I have a theory as to why I don't think... You, oh, by the way, 131060 as well, if you can prove me wrong and you also hate mints, definitely give us a call. I want to know why. I just don't think anyone will call. Because I have a theory that the only reason why he like why everyone just is neutral or indifferent to the taste of mint is mm-hmm. you're, I guess, forced as a kid to brush your teeth so often that most people are just like, okay with mint. Because it's a thing yeah. you do every day. It's you a taste you have in your mouth every day. And you learn to just accept it. Because I remember when I was younger, I hated mint so much that I started using kids' toothpaste, which yeah. is not minty at all. But then, uh, you know, I started to stop being a kid. And I was like, well, I better just start using, you know, McLean's. Yes. And uh, I, now I kind of like mints. How, what, how do, what's his teeth situation? Do they have good teeth? Yeah. Pearly whites. Hmm. I'm not, he must use a different using. sort of toothpaste. Maybe is there a different sort? Maybe he's using the Flintstones toothpaste that I used to use when I was nine. Is that cherry flavored? It's still pretty old for you to be using kids' toothpaste yeah. at nine years old. Yeah. But anyway, first caller, Tanya, welcome to the show. What do you hate that everyone else loves? I really, really hate Nutella. What? Nutella? I, but isn't I hate that, it. Why? I don't really eat Nutella, but I also don't hate it. No, I just, I really don't like it. I don't like the taste. It's too nutty, too chocolatey, it's too thick. It's so overrated, like, oh, God. I agree it's overrated, but I also, and I know a lot of people are steaming right now in their cars. Mm, I don't know. Have you ever had, like, a giant spoon of it, Luke? 
Yeah. Yeah, I and think. I agree. It's too nutty. It's not chocolatey. I don't know. But do you really want chocolate on bread? It's probably better that it's nuttier. No, I have it outside of my house because if it's in the house, I'm just going to eat it all day on everything. It's, I'll just start eating bread right. for no reason just so I can spread Nutella so on you're, it. So you're a lover of Nutella. Yeah, I have to keep it away from you when Nutella. I'm a recovering addict, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, welcome to the show. What do you hate that other people love? Hey, boys. Um, I'm not a fan of citrus. Citrus, like, like just any, any sort of citrus. Lemon, lime, uh, oranges especially. They're all... Mandarins? Yeah. Oh, couldn't think of anything worse. <laughs> oranges, maybe. <laughs> oh, I, I was always the kid at halftime when it, like, in kiddie sport. Yeah. You know, and everyone would pass around the oranges and I'm just like, I couldn't think of anything worse to you're eat just right like, now. Oh, sorry, guys. I don't like citrus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you're the, like, you're the life of the footy club. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Of course I am. <laughs> What's uh, a replacement to citrus? Just any other uh, fruit. Yeah, basically. Apples and bananas. What is it you don't like? The sweet kind of taste or? Yeah, I find it a bit too strong and also the texture is kind of a bit funky. Also, it like, stings uh, when you get it in a wound. I don't know yeah. what you're using citrus for, mate. Yeah. <laughs> well, it just does. <laughs> uh, thanks for calling, Nick. Danielle, welcome to the show. What do you hate that everyone else loves? I hate Tim Tams. All right, get her off. Yep. <laughs> See you later, Danielle. Next right. caller, uh, Jason. What do you hate that everyone else <laughs> Sorry, Danielle. Uh, is she gone? No, no, she's gone. <laughs> Are you back? <laughs> we're back. Sorry, Danielle. We're not, we're not just going to hang up on you. Why don't you like Tim Tams? I don't know. I'm not a fan. Never been, and that was the reaction that I was hoping for. Oh, okay. Well, so then. Are you used to receiving that kind of reaction? I am. I get it in the house. I get it at work. I get it with friends. I get it with everybody. Yeah, because it's weird, mate. All yeah. right, unless you're allergic, it's Tim Tams is such a just a normal biscuit to like. It's it's the right amount of biscuit, the right amount of chocolate. Yeah, it's the, almost the the perfect no, treat. No, do you no. like other chocolate biscuits? I do. I do like other chocolate biscuits. I don't like Tim Tams. So why is how is it different? What's what makes a Tim Tam stand out as worse than like a chocolate chip bicky? Because it's not a chocolate chip biscuit. Oh, so you need chips. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right. Great. Yep. Thanks well. for calling, Danielle. Um, Jason, uh, these are all food related. What do you hate? I can't stand Vegemite. Another food related one. <laughs> <laughs> Vegemite, I also don't like it. But I think that's a thing that is actually dividing the population is the yeah. taste of Vegemite. Yeah, I think... Uh, Not everyone loves it. Vegemite for me comes in waves. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't, but no. I like a little bit of it. Uh, Jake, what do you hate that uh, everyone else likes? Cheese, mate. Absolutely hate cheese. That's weird. That is strange. What do you, cheese don't you like about everything. it? Nah, mate. I just hate all forms of cheese. It just Every time I look at it, it just reminds me of moldy milk. It's just not I right. I mean, that's essentially what it is. You just just, it is. <laughs> you just describe cheese. Oh, exactly. So why are we eating anything mouldy? And like blue cheese, there's actual mould in there. Oh, tell us about it. Lewis had a uh, burger with some stanky blue cheese in it the other night. Oh, it reeked out the whole man. studio. Yeah, no. I felt I felt horrendous. Yeah, you I would reeked have... out my whole house when I went home too. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't eat a lot of burgers because there's cheese on it. <laughs> yeah, bummer. Just don't do it. Um, um, right, and finally, doing, Craig, what do you hate? I completely agree with your mate. I hate mint. Can't stand it. Oh, you hate mint? Yeah, absolutely. Mints on absolutely anything. I don't understand it. What do you hate about mints? I will never understand this. Oh, it's, it's like the feeling when, you know when you have to have a mint thing and you breathe in and you get that cold air? Like, it's just, it's not a pleasant experience. Yeah, I don't, I actually don't like that about mints. You don't like fresh breath? Okay, it's not the fresh breath. It's the cold sensation. Like, yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll agree with you with that on Cry. I don't like the cold sensation. But how do you brush your teeth if you don't like mint? All right, so hey, Craig just hates men and brushing his teeth. All right, Man. well, I wouldn't want to be your dentist. Thanks for calling. <laughs> Can't even dispute it because you've won it two weeks in a row. As yes. much as I hate to say, it was your call to guess Michael today. Mm -hmm. Can we say that jumping on that bandwagon was a great move by me? Well, now, now you've got to win as well. I've now got to win under my belt. You've technically got two. I would say it's one all. 
because it was a mutual win today. Yeah, I mean, you you kind of let the team down. You you got your name. I wrong. backed you and Michael. So if yeah. you don't, if you're not familiar with the show, we do uh, a segment called the Name Game, which is where we try and guess people's name. And we've got it two weeks in a row now. We honestly thought when we started it, it would take us about a year and a half. It's well, a, hang on, how many times have we played the game? Is about it, five times. So we've almost fifty percent. Well, we got it the third time, so yeah. we have played it four times. So well, then we've. 50% of the time, we've actually won the name game, yeah. which means it's way easier than so we previously thought that it was. During the song then, we've come up, or we've decided it's too easy, right? It's too yeah. easy. We, we've got to keep getting it. And apparently, it's not actually that hard to guess people's names. Well, that means we're, our hypothesis that we tried to prove we're right, names do have personalities yes. to them. Because as soon as uh, at the caller today that I got said, I go to gym and play basketball, I was like, that's a Michael. Yes. <laughs> well, hang yeah. on, Mike, our button pusher, you're Michael. Do you go to gym? I do actually. Do you, you play, play basketball? basketball? No. Okay, so maybe right. it was the gym thing more. Yeah, than Yeah, that's the basketball why we call him thing. Mike. He doesn't have the extra L, which is that's the basketball. True. Yeah, a Mike goes <laughs> to gym but name. doesn't play basketball. <laughs> so during this uh, song, we've kind of come up with a new game that we think we're going to run next week. We think it's a little bit harder, mm. um, but we're still feeling, pr- I guess, not that confident with it. We'll give it a go. Next week, we're we're going to do the age game. Can yep. we guess your age? Yep. Mainly because age and name sound the same, so we don't have to do too much work in the opener. Yeah. But uh, we'll guess your age. That's what we're going to do next week. And, uh, well, not next week, because I'm on a cruise next oh, yeah. Sunday. Um, but there's going to be no, sh- no show next week, but that's all right. We're going to be posting heaps of videos and stuff on all of our Go socials. check out the uh, Amy Shark video as well. We started a campaign uh, to let you know that Amy Shark says hi. Tell them all. Yep, it's on our Facebook and our Instagram, Luke and Lewis. And, uh, hey, we're going to see you in two weeks. And hopefully, you know what? I will have be- I'll be coming back to the show as a lottery winner, as and- I guarantee. And if you missed anything, check out the podcast on iTunes. All right, guys. See you later. It's Luke and Lewis on the Fox.